Hey peeps, back with a quick one here. Um, I have an Apple Note on my phone, so whenever I'm going to do a groin dissection for vulvar cancer, I go back to my Apple Note, so I decided that I would just compile all the information that I have here to share with everyone. Um, let's get started. So um, the first thing you obviously need to know when you go into one of these surgeries is the anatomy. Where are we dissecting? We're dissecting in the femoral triangle. So in, in a couple nice pictures here, um, you want to know your borders of the femoral triangle. So we have your sartorius muscle, um, you have your inguinal ligament, I guess, which is supposed to be right here, your adductor longus, and then your deep border is going to be the pectineus muscle. So you can see that depicted here. Um, obviously, you're going to want to know your um, headed back to medical school, navel, nerve, artery, vein, empty space, lymphatics. Um, that'll be important. And this is the patient's right side. So opposite on the left side. Knowing the anatomy is really important here. And then we go into um, some other pictures of the lymphatics. So the lymphatics of the vulva drain to the superficial inguinal lymph nodes, the femoral and the internal iliac chains. And um, the vessel, the other vessels that are important, so the saphenous vein is going to be our most important vessel that we want to avoid. Um, and that'll pierce the cribriform fascia overlying the fossa ovalis, and it joins the femoral vein below the fascia. So we'll go over that um, in a minute. And then other important vessels that you want to, you, know, you might be able to identify, um, will be the superficial epigastric, the superficial external pudendal, and then the superficial circumflex iliac. Okay, so let's get started with our dissection. You want to uh, identify your ASIS and the pubic symphysis. You'll make that imaginary line where you feel like the inguinal ligament is. And you want to go about two centimeters below this line um, to mark where you're going to make your incision. You'll open this area and carry it down below scarpus fascia. You'll see scarpus fascia um, has that like white glisten and the superficial nodes will be in this space. So you can kind of see here the superficial nodal packet, um, which they're removing in this picture here. Um, you, the superficial nodes will run parallel to the inguinal ligament and surround the saphenous vein. You want to try to identify the saphenous vein whenever possible and avoid taking this. Um, and then once you're able to safely remove this packet, you find your saphenous vein, you can follow the saphenous vein to locate the femoral vein via the fossa ovalis. And so in this picture, here are your deep nodes here, here's your fossa ovalis. You're going to need to open the fascia over the femoral vessels to remove these deep inguinal nodes around the fossa ovalis. And so here's another really nice picture here. Um, where the saphenous vein is identified and carried back to the femoral vein. Um, and this is where you'll find your deep nodes. And then at, once, you're, once you've completed your node dissection, we typically place a drain kind of up over here, um, enclosed in multiple layers, and hopefully um, no wound complications. So that's it really quick, but just a nice little overview, um, something that you can look at when you're going into any um, node dissection. And I don't own any of these pictures. They are from the internet and as well as anatomy textbooks. Have a great day.